Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up this simulated echo switch so that you can trigger echo announcements based on SmartThings automations. Okay, a little bit of housekeeping before we get started. If you have an Alexa device with an earshot of your speakers, you'll want to go ahead and mute that so that it's not triggered when I say she who will not be named. Uh, what I did is uh, when I refer to this virtual switch, it's actually a simulated Alexa switch. I've renamed it an echo switch to try to minimize the number of times I have to say she who will not be named. So I'm in my new SmartThings app. I'm gonna scroll all the way down towards the bottom and under the room other, you see here I have a simulated echo switch that is in the closed position. So to get that installed and showing up within your app, you need to install the raw code from GitHub and I'll show you how to get that raw code. I'll give you the link below in the description. You just need to copy that and then save it as device handler. Then you need to enable it as one of your devices and then it'll show up in the list of devices within your phone. So we're gonna switch on over to that code You'll see this address. Again, I'll leave this address below. This is the raw code that you need to copy and then to save as a device handler. The first thing you wanna do before you copy this is click on this button here that says raw. That'll give you the raw code. You can just select all this text and copy it. Sometimes these are very lengthy and you, if you wanna make sure that you get everything, the best way to do it is do a control, hold the control key down on your keyboard and then tap the A key. And that'll select everything that's on the screen. And then you can right click and hit copy. Once you've copied that, you wanna go into your SmartThings Groovy IDE. Uh, this is the address up here. Again, I'll leave that address below so that you can source that. Once you get in here, you need to log in and uh, click on sign in with your SmartThings account. And then you'll see all these listings at the top here. Uh, I'm going to go to my device handlers that you see up here. Okay, now I've already created the simulated Alexa switch within my device handlers, but I'm going to show you how to bring that in. So I'm going to create another one. To do it, you want to go up here where it says create a new device handler. And then you're going to do from code. And then just right click and paste to put that code in there. And then you're going to hit create. Okay. Then you'll tap on publish up here and also click on for me. And now when you go back into my device handlers, you'll see that that simulated Alexa switch should show up in your list. Now, I'm gonna get rid of this because, as I mentioned, I already had it installed in here. If you wanna delete one of these, it's just a matter of clicking on it and hitting delete, and then hit okay. So we're back just to one simulated Alexa switch. Okay, you're not done yet. Then you have to add it to your devices. So click on my devices up here. Okay, and then you're going to hit new device and you're going to find the type of device by clicking on this drop down menu. Now, most times it's listed towards the bottom of this list, and here you see the uh, simulated Alexa switch right here. So we'll click on that. And uh, I typically call this the same as the type. say just simulated switch um, and I think I said I rather than use the Alexa name I called it simulated echo switch rather than create this I'm gonna go back uh, to my devices and show you how I set it up because I already have it created in here and I don't want to create another switch so I'm gonna scroll down to that switch here it is simulated echo switch I'll hit the edit key and you'll see so again, I selected simulated Alexa switch for the type. 
I named it simulated Alexa switch the label this is the label that you want to show up in your device list within your smart things app so I call it simulated echo switch you can leave Zigbee ID blank uh, this can be anything you want uh, but if you're going to use more than one word you want to use an underline between those words so I call it a virtual switch um, and then you might want to select your hub as well and then you'll hit create there'll be a create button down here I'm just going to hit update on mine once you've done that then it should show up in your device so we're going to jump over to our new smart things app and uh, find that in the list all right so we're back in the smart things app if you want to go up here where the three lines are in the upper left hand corner click on that and uh, you want to look in your device list you should find that these are listed alphabetically usually and you see here the uh, simulated echo switch showing up in the device list so once you have it in there then you're ready to create an automation so let's go ahead and go out of here you'll go back up here to the three lines again click on that and then we're looking for automations you see automations right here so click on automations so you see here I have two different automations one turns the simulated echo switch on and the other one turns the simulated echo switch back off if you turn a switch on you have to reset it it's turned on whenever my wife arrives home and the, her phone is detected it turns off whenever she leaves so that's the reset for me uh, so let's go ahead and see how to trigger the switch on how I set up this routine I'll go ahead and create a new routine by hitting this plus sign up here and I'll show you how I set this up so you want to click on add a condition and we're going to use the member location and on who we're going to select my wife's iPhone go back and then select when this member is at Bud's home so I have that checked already that's the default so that's one condition we'll hit save we're gonna add another condition remember I said I don't want the statement made until she walks into the kitchen and the motion detector detects her presence there so we're gonna select device status I'm gonna look for the kitchen um, the kitchen sensor you see it there in the list click on that we're gonna use it as a motion sensor and we want motion detected so when motions detected that's a second condition hit save and save again so we have two conditions listed in here we want both of these conditions or all of these conditions to be met uh, and if they are met then we want an action to happen that action is going to be turn that virtual switch on all right so let's go ahead and add that action so again this is in devices so we want to control a device so click on that and we're going to go ahead and scroll down to find our virtual echo switch or simulated echo switch and there you see it in the list right here so we're going to click on that and hit save and then go back in click on this a second time and we want that rather than off we want it to turn on so when those two conditions are met I'm going to head hit save and get out of this so when these two conditions are met then turn this switch on this when this is turned on that status change will be telegraphed over to the Alexa app and when the Alexa app sees that turn on then it can use it in the routine in order to make the statement welcome home sweetheart okay so that's how to do that it's just a matter of naming it we'll leave that as the default because I already have this set up and then I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that out since again I already have it set up 
So I'm going to hit edit. If you scroll the way down, if you want to delete an automation, you see at the bottom there, you can hit delete. So if you look at the routine here to turn the switch on that I already have set up, that setup identical is the one I just showed you. Okay. Now, when my wife departs, this is fairly straightforward. When this member isn't at the home, then we want to basically turn that simulated echo switch off. So it's it's the same kind of setup. It's just that you're turning the switch off uh, whenever the member departs. Hit save on that. So those uh, two routines are in there. This one again turns the switch on and this one turns the switch off. So with those automations set up, then all we need to do is go in and use that switch in a routine within the Alexa app in order to say that custom phrase. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and get into the Amazon Alexa app. And this is the updated app. There's some changes. One of the changes that are specific to this uh, particular routine is that routines used to be up here in the upper left hand corner. Now you'll click on these three lines down in the lower right hand corner to get to routines. So we're going to do a new routine. So we'll click on routines. Now, as in the Smart Things app, I already have this welcome home sweetheart routine in here, but we'll go ahead and replicate that uh, so that you'll see how it's set up. So up here at the top, uh, you'll want to hit new, uh, create a new routine by hitting that plus sign. And we're going to enter a routine name here and hit next. Okay. All right. With our name in there, then we want to go to when this happens. So we'll click on the plus sign there. We're going to go to Smart Home. And in the Smart Home, we're going to look for that simulated Alexa switch. And there it is. So we'll click on that. We're going to say when it opens. Hit Next. Then we want something to happen. So. What we're going to do in my case, I usually have music playing in the background, so I have a few extra steps that I add to this to stop the music, to adjust the volume, to say the phrase, to adjust the volume back down, and then to start the music again. So if you don't have the music playing in the background, then you can just uh, go to the custom phrase and have it make the statement whenever the, the uh, switch is triggered. So first of all, I'm going to go to device settings. I'm going to stop audio and I'm going to do that on my kitchen echo dot. I'm going to hit next. Okay. And then uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the volume. So you'll go to device settings for that. That's right there. Volume. I'm going to take that up to uh, let's say volume six, hit next. Next again, add another. Now I'm gonna add a custom phrase to do that. You hit on or tap on Alexa says, and they have some set phrases in here, but I'm gonna use a customized phrase. And I'm just gonna say, welcome home, sweetheart. Okay, and next it says Alexa will say welcome home sweetheart. Okay, very good. And uh, so we have three steps in here now. We're going to stop audio, set audio, set volume to six, excuse me. Say welcome home sweetheart. Then we want to adjust the audio back down. We usually have that playing at level three or level two. So I'm going to select level two. So we're going to add an action. That's going to be a device setting, volume. I'm going to take this down to, oh, let's say right there, two. Volume two, next. Now you see sometimes when you put these uh, actions in here, they get out of order. 
to get them in order, you want to just select these two little lines here and then hold on that and you'll see uh, you can drag that to the proper location. So I'm going to grab that and we're going to move that down to after the statement, welcome sweetheart. Now the last thing we need to do is start playing the radio station uh, that we typically have on. Uh, so I'm going to add another action. So go up here and hit the plus sign. Okay. I'm going to go down to where it says music. I'm going to click on music. The provider. 103.3 FM. And that is on TuneIn Radio. So we'll select TuneIn from the list. Hit next. All right. So here is our sequence. It's going to stop the audio. It's going to set the volume to six. It's going to make the statement, set the volume back to two, and then start playing the radio station again. The last thing we need to do is choose the device that all this happens on. And that will be, of course, our kitchen echo dot right there. So we'll select that. Welcome home, sweetheart. And I'm not going to save this because as I stated, I already have this in there. So I'm going to hit cancel cancel out of there but you would hit save and I discarded that now if I go into my welcome home sweetheart routine you will see here that I'm using that simulated Alexa switch and there's the the same routine so that's all there is to setting it up and uh, I hope you enjoyed this hope you find this useful this has many applications uh, you can use this in quite a number of ways uh, to trigger any kind of voice response based on various uh, devices in your smart home so I think you'll find a lot of uses for this with that I think we'll sign off for today thanks for watching and we'll see you next time